Hi there and welcome to this uh, new video. Uh, today we are going to see uh, Scrappy. So uh, Scrappy is an open source and collaborative uh, framework in order to extract uh, data from any website. So to make it simple for SEO, uh, they are going to use Scrappy in order to have a spider, in order to extract data for a given website and most of the time in order to extract metadata or any SEO data. Uh, Screaming Frog, for example, is a, a solution, a proprietary solution, which is giving you a full UI in order to do this uh, with the main SEO data that you would like to extract. Uh, how does Scrappy um, differ from Screaming Frog? So first of all, Scrappy is open source, so free to use. Um, you can do everything that you want with that, but that's what we call a framework, which means that it's not going to give you uh, straight away uh, a UI. You're going to have to build it. And so as the full uh, behavior of the spider, you will need to cut it, but it's giving you already some features that you can automatically use in order to get uh, a spider uh, faster than uh, making it from scratch. So that's what we're going to see uh, in, the, in the first part. We're going to see how we can install uh, Scrappy. So in order to install Scrappy, you just need to run this given uh, line of code. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just uh, do this. So here it's doing OK. In order to install all those library files, it's going to take 125 megabytes. Okay, so once um, you have done it, okay, uh, you can already start uh, to run uh, your own spiders. So that's what I'm going to do uh, right now. So I'm just going to wait for the full installation to be uh, completed, and then I will be able to show you how it looks like. So now I get my Scrappy on. So uh, now I need to create uh, a Scrappy directory. So that's what I'm going to do. So the Scrappy directory will be here in order to host all the different projects that you're going to handle. So I'm just going to go in a place where I feel more comfortable. So I'm just going to do like uh, this and like this, and then um, you know, probably build it uh, over here. So, um, okay, so let's go for mkdir and it's going to be named Scrappy. Okay, uh, you can call it as you want. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so in my case, it's just going to be named Scrappy. Oops, sorry for that. Okay, and now I get my Scrappy here. Um, then uh, what you need to do is that you need to uh, go within this folder. So this is what I, I did. And now you need to create a project. So in fact, you can create as many spiders as you want. Okay. Um, so it means that uh, within one given project, you can host as many uh, spiders that you want. But in any cases, you need to have a project. So uh, that's what uh, we're going to do here. So we're going to run this given command now that Scrappy is installed. So Scrappy start project and then you give the name of your project, which most of the time <coughs> refer to the name of your organization. So I'm just going to call it uh, a kind of my company. Okay. So Scrappy has not been found, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, so why not? So let's go. Uh, just run. Okay. And okay. Why do I don't have? Uh, scrappy on because I get everything that I wanted probably because I need as well to run pip install scrappy so I'm gonna run this out <coughs> and Okay, so now I guess that Scrappy is on. So if I do something like this. Okay, so now I'm getting my company project, which is uh, created. So that's uh, that's great. So now I can access to my company. Okay, and I can see that I already have uh, some files within it. Okay, so. Um, I'm getting within this folder is what I did in my CD, my company, and then um, I can already start uh, to create my first uh, scrapper. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to uh, create a spider for the domain name for the website that I would like uh, to scrap. So 
what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna do something like this. So I'm gonna create a spider. I'm gonna give the name that I want to my spider. I'm again gonna call it VM. Um, and uh, it's gonna run on localhost. Okay, so that's what I'm just putting here, localhost. Okay, so. Okay, so now I have my spider, which is created, which is named uh, Venom. So if I look within my company, okay, as you can see, I have now a folder which is named spiders. And if I look at it, I have um, a spider which is named Venom.py. Okay, so that's uh, great. So what I can do uh, from now on is to run Scrappy crawl the name of my spider. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I do like this. Uh, spider not found. So probably that's because I just need to run it at one level above or one level above. Uh, spider not found. Name of your spider. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, probably that's because spider call and it's venom. Okay, as you can see, I succeed in uh, sending my uh, spider. This is what happened here. It's giving me a lot of uh, different uh, data, okay? So what's happening here is that uh, my spider has been sent properly to my domain, which is named uh, localhost, or however, uh, the script, which is running my spider, that we can find over here, cd spiders, is the one of Venom. So I can do it. Uh, is not doing anything very interesting so that's why um, we do not have that much um, information which are available over here so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna change a little bit the uh, given script i'm gonna change it by this one okay what this script is gonna do is that it's gonna extract the title text of the domain that i want to scrap in my case i'm gonna ask uh, to go for this uh, given URL. So that's what we're going to see right now. I'm going to just modify this uh, given script. So I'm going to do um, the modification like, like this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these, all these texts. I'm going to change it by the one that I just uh, copy and paste. I'm going to adapt it Oops. according uh, to it. So let's uh let's go back where we were so we were over here and just need to copy that and then to paste it over here okay so um the name of my spider is venom that we already know um okay a lot the main is gonna be uh local local host and full name is is giving Okay, so just gonna copy that and put it here. Depths like this. Okay, and what I'm gonna ask it to do is that, okay, go on this given uh, URL and extract the title and show the title to me. Um, and uh, so now I'm saving it and I'm gonna just, again, extract it. Okay, so, I get it, um, and as you can see, it extracted over here the title of uh, the of my page. So I'm happy now. I have at least a little script which is able uh, to extract the data that I wanted. I can do something more fancy because you will see that with uh, Scrappy, you have many parameters that you can add. You can just um, run it like this and ask to put me the final result within a CSV file, which will be kind of convenient. So um, name of my spider is Venom. Okay, and I'm gonna create a file which is named uh, uh, file, we said it was file CSV. And normally I should get my CSV file somewhere. So I have no idea where it has been insert because it has been run properly so okay if you need that okay hmm. interesting
interesting as you can see uh, now I get my CSV file which is uh, over here so I can uh, I can just uh, open it up and just see what's inside and as you can see it has one column which is named title with the value of the title that I asked Scrappy to get and that's it uh, for today. So um, I really hope uh, that uh, you enjoyed actually this uh, given uh, videos and uh, as an exercise, please try to install uh, Scrappy on your own. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social networks.